Hey YouTubers, outside today as you can see because it's a nice day, not too much wind so hopefully it won't be affected by wind noise and um, I just fancied you know, the light's better out here and fancied doing a video outside. Now I've been tagged by, oh, off goes the dog, so you might get a bit of dog noise but hey. I've been tagged by Nicole SD um, and the question is why is life worth living if God does not exist? And I looked at this question and thought, well, it could just as easily say, why is life worth living if God does exist? It's that old meaning of life question, isn't it? Meaning of life. And I really have to take this question as looking at life in general. Now, if I'm out in my garden and suddenly I should accidentally, because I don't like doing it, tread upon a snail. Now, snails are garden pests, but I don't like treading on them. I'd say live and let live on that sort of echo. Leave it. So my, my dog's about to drink something she shouldn't. Um, live and let live is usually my sort of motto. Um, I even plant some extra plants just so that you know the snails can eat them instead. Not the point really. The fact is I've trodden on this snail and it's died. Um, presumably if I've trodden on it. Um, and I look at that snail and I think, I wonder what sort of life it had. I wonder how old it was. I wonder when it was born. I wonder what, what it ate. There are things about that life of that snail. And it gets me thinking. I don't just think, oh, well, there you go. I, I, it's, it's, if I, that's what I, I haven't done this, but uh, I was in a friend's car once who accidentally killed and hit a fox when he was out in the car. And, and I kept thinking, well, I wonder if I had young. And I wonder if the empty. I wonder what sort of life that had. And, and you do, don't you wonder? It's a sort of empathy of human thinking, I think. Anyway, the thing is, I look at the ancestry, really, also, of that snail. Uh, the gastropods lived hundreds of millions of years ago in the sea, evolved out onto land, still very much tied to land by water, only really come out and feed when it's raining. And um, I think back into the ancestry of the creatures that have died and what sort of life they had. I don't really think about the future of its young's life. It's usually the, the life that has passed before. Um, probably because you don't know anything about the future of the life until it's happened. Obviously, God, this is terrible. Anyway, my point is, if I was to look at a caterpillar, for instance, a caterpillar that's newly born, it's just, it's just been laid, let's say, it's, start, it's found its leaf, it's started munching on its leaf. Along comes a nasty little wasp. That wasp stings that caterpillar, paralyzes it, then carries it off, buries it in a little hole in the ground, seals it in, lays its, well, lays its eggs in it, then seals it in. And that poor little caterpillar, still alive, is eaten from inside by the young that develop within it until it eventually dies and, and it's fully consumed and, the, and of course the adult wasps then emerge and do the same cycle all over again. That's not a very nice life for a caterpillar. I bet it hated the day that its nerve endings were put together by nature. And a life like that, how is that worth living? What's the point of that? It's purely not, it's obviously not for the reproduction of the caterpillar. And yet caterpillars and of course the moths and beetles or whatever grub happens to, insect happens to appear, relies upon losing a certain amount of its young. So it's all really about your ancestors more than it is your young. Though obviously without your young the DNA does not continue. I personally do not have children and perhaps this is why my thinking tends to be slightly different. I know that my DNA will die out with me, but I have plenty of nephews and nieces and my ancestors' DNA and my ancestors um, will continue through them. And so I don't feel too bad about it, really. Now, life is great while everything's okay. If you're lucky enough to be born in sort of a nice family, you've got enough wealth, or at least just enough nowadays, that's better than many, and that's fabulous. What would happen if I was in severe pain, for instance, if I could no longer tolerate life? 
I possibly would contemplate suicide. I'm not suicidal, but if it ever came to that point, I would probably contemplate it, and I think it's rather nice that I do have that choice, um, and hopefully it will never happen. So what's the meaning of life? Well, that's one of them questions, isn't it? And that is what this question is. What is the meaning of life? It's nature. And nature sometimes cruel and nature sometimes horrible. But sometimes it can be great and um, we have to make the best of our loss, as it were. Um, sure, if you have children and love them, then that, that's obviously part of your genetics, your makeup. Um, but you don't have to. Uh, take that path. I didn't, and um, I, I'm perfectly happy with that. Okay, I'll just finish it off because I've waffled enough on that. Why is God? Why is life worth living? You live it because it's there. You have no choice in the matter, um, and if it gets bad enough, the only choice you have is to end it. But life is marvelous. It can seem like a miracle, but when you look at it and how it started and all the way back to the ancestry. Um, it's even more remarkable um, and great to live it while you're having fun. There's no other answer really, but the thing is, if there was a God in that question, why is life worth living if God does exist? Well, I'd think, think of that as less of a reason for life to be living really. Constant and utter groveling to an unseen um, tyrant that just wants you to love him. I can't see that as any particularly fun life to have. Um, I hope that answers the question. It, you can't really answer the meaning of life question, can you? All you can do is give a few thoughts on it. Peace for now. I hope it makes some sense. I'm quickly going to tag, why is my tags, uh, MacNuts 2, or, or MacNuts. Um, he's got MacNuts and MacNuts 2. Um, so, nuts. He, he, he's a nice chap and he, he likes making videos. Hopefully he'll, he'll do one. Um, less likely, but um, also <laughs> I would like somebody, because I've been blocked by this guy, I thought it'd be worth asking some Christians, um, or so-called Christians, this particular question. Shock of God. Go on, somebody tell Shock of God he's been tagged. Unfortunately, I've been blocked. I'm sure there must be somebody out there who isn't. If you could just drop a note, please, and say, hmm, you've been tagged, um, then that'd be nice, thank you. And the other one's the uh, Stigmaden, or Stigmadine, as he likes to be called. Um, another Christian, and uh, he, he likes making videos as well, and although he's made some pretty nasty videos about me, I think he likes me, really. Um, probably doesn't, but anyway, you're tagged, and um, hopefully we'll hear from you on the same question because it is a question that transcends both, athe both atheism and, of course, um, those religious... Oh, you mustn't say religious, must you? Uh, you mustn't say religious to born-agains. Um, or, what's the word? Um, people who believe in God. <laughs> I never know what to call people who say they're not religious, and yet they are. Um, faithful. One of the faithful. Okay, Stigmadine, or Stigmarden. You are also tagged. That's it. Gotta go. Um, I'll just put this on the end of the video. Cheers.